afternoon friends welcome back to the channel i hope to find you well it's monday today so the beef and potatoes video should have just gone out and i thought today um we'd tackle the apple cider vinegar finally if you haven't seen that video i will link the, vi the video in the icons above so that you can go back and have a look at that so today we're going to filter it because it's smelling very, very vinegary now. I do just want to taste it because I've not tasted it yet. I've just given it a stir but that is how it's looking now after being left for quite a few weeks. So, you see that, just tilt, Oops. tilt it. So, it looks a bit brown and, brown and grotty. Let's just get that back again. But it smells delicious. It really does. Mm. So, I'm going to move the camera down after I've had a taste. Let's see. That's very apple cider vinegar. <laughs> it's very good. That's going to be excellent with hot water in the morning with some um, warm water, sorry, in the morning or even some cold water. However you drink your water in the morning, just have a tablespoon of that in and drink it. It will do you the world of good. So I'll just pop the camera down so you can see what I'm doing and then... Um, We'll, we'll put it in a jar. Try and get this so it doesn't fall over, I think. Oh, okay. So, I'm just going, to, first of all, to pour it through a sieve. And you can see just how cloudy that, that liquid is. And then after, afterwards, off camera, when I've had a chance, I will, I'll siphon it, I will sieve it again. I'll put it through this sieve again. And I'll press, press, press on the apples to get as much liquid out of them as possible. But what I will do is I'll put a cotton cloth into the sieve just to make sure I'm getting a really well sieved liquid so that's basically it friends wonderful homemade apple cider vinegar and frankly you could leave that for months in a dark cupboard cool dark cupboard and it would be absolutely fine I've just decided to sieve it today and start using it today because I haven't got any homemade apple cider vinegar at the moment. So what I'll probably do this weekend is get some more apples and start another batch so that I've always got a batch on the go and I'm not running out. So that is basically your apple cider vinegar. Now what I will do is I'll get this white cloth. It's like a flower sack cloth. These are available on Amazon. I'll pop that inside the sieve and I'll sieve it again into a jar like not sure where my bowl jars are but I know this this one is clean I've washed this one so I could I could just pop it in here for now so I find some of my bowl jars so I could So I can do I can just sieve it into this jar through the sieve and the cloth, but I'm going to do it over the sink in case I make a mess. So just while we're here, I just wanted to show you the, the vanilla extract we started the other day. I'm not sure if you can pick that up on camera. I wonder if you can tell if I put the white cloth behind it. 
can you see now how it's changing colour? It was clear, wasn't it, on obviously the other day because it it's vodka. But if I pop it behind this cloth, you can see that it's starting to change colour already. So in about six months time, I mean, I could start using it in two months time, but in about six months time, that will be perfect. So I'll wash my little cotton lid and get it ready for when I do my next batch of apple cider. Get this properly pressed out through a sieve and get all the juice out of it. Pop it in a jar and it'll be good to go. It'll keep for ever in a day. Some people say it lasts weeks, but it, it lasts a lot longer. I've known people keep this for a long time. If you look at, um, <sighs> Heidi from Rain Country on apple cider vinegar, Mary's Nest, she's a, she's a, um, a wealth of knowledge on apple cider vinegar. Heidi is also a very big wealth of knowledge on apple cider vinegar. Um, they will tell you they keep theirs, especially Heidi will keep hers. I think Doug and Stacey, that's a massive channel. I'm sure you've heard of Doug and Stacey. Not a channel I personally follow, but they, they are, Stacey does a, a video, I think on, I think, I think I've seen Stacey doing a video on apple cider vinegar and I think she keeps hers for a long time. I think she leaves hers like this for a long, a lot longer. I think she leaves hers for months and months. So there's nothing wrong with doing that, absolutely. But I would pour a little bit of this, maybe about a tablespoon in a glass in the morning, put some warm water over it from the kettle or you top it up with some filter water. Absolutely the best thing you can have in the morning to kickstart your metabolism, help with your guts, help with your, if you've got acid indigestion, anything like that, it's really good. Such a good thing to do. Uh, I'm not sure about weight loss. People claim it helps with weight loss, but I'm not so sure about that. I, <laughs> I don't know about that, so I wouldn't like to say, but some health experts do say, or people who say they're health experts will say it does help with weight loss. So that's the apple cider. That's it. it that's as easy as it gets. Just siphon it. Just put it through a, fa uh, a sieve. Uh, if you've got like um like a cheesecloth or just a clean cotton cloth, anything, just you can sieve it through there as well if you want to just get it to make sure there's no bits in it. I don't mind. I, I want the bits. I want the mother in there. So even though I put it through the cloth, if there's any mother in there, I will put it in because I want I want that. If you leave it long enough, it will it will gradually get a scoby in there, and you can use that scoby then to make to make other nutrient dense food. So that's it for today. It's a very short one today, friends. Um, little catch up on the weekend. I didn't film Sunday. We had a disaster in the morning. I thought the freezer was playing up a bit because I'd said to you in another video, it's not freezing very quickly where my chest freezer does. And I just thought it was something I hadn't noticed before. I was hoping it was just something I hadn't realised before. But yesterday I went to get something out of the freezer and noticed the things I put in more than 24 hours before that weren't even starting to freeze. So some of the stuff like the I had some roast, pota roast potatoes in there. They'd gone soft and they'd been frozen. They'd been in there months. Well, no, weeks. I threw, had to throw the potatoes away. I weren't going to risk it. But the chicken and the stewing steak and the minced beef and everything else, all the expensive stuff. Thankfully, we caught it in time, so we had to get it all out of the freezer, cook it all up yesterday and we didn't have time to think about it. We just had to get it all out of the freezer and cook it. So we've saved the food. Thank you, Lord, we have saved the food because that would have been expensive to replace. I'm not too bothered about a bit of veg. I can, it's not, it's not gonna bother me too much about that. Although I was able to save the fish. The fish was still frozen well. So, although it was a bit of a disaster, we did manage to sort that out and then we quickly got outside to get the courgettes and the butternut squash out and the potatoes and the onions 
and then it was rushing out to get a few things that we needed so we didn't have time to do any filming yesterday so i'm a bit behind where i wanted to be with, with videos but i just wanted to do the apple cider vinegar with you with you today because obviously i want to stop having this now because i don't have any homemade so that's that i hope you're all well and i'm sorry it's just a quick video today i hope you understand yesterday was a, a, a bit of a disaster <laughs> it was exhausting to say the least and um we managed to just go on autopilot and just dig roll the sleeves up and crack on and just get get it done as best we could um without it turning into a drama really we were just like right this is what we need to do let's just do it and husband was cooking the chicken and i was cooking the beef in the instant pot he was cooking the chicken in the oven we were all do you know we were both like just doing stuff between us getting on with it so um obviously because that was a very unexpected thing that we had to do we just didn't get around to doing the things we wanted to do yesterday like go to church take a day just to rest up a little bit and take it easy like we like to on a, on a sabbath but these things happen and it really did confirm to me that I did the right thing ordering the pressure canner because when that comes I will be using it so much I think I've said a few times on here and I know I've said it to, to family um, I am a bit concerned about just relying on freezers for keeping food not just for power cuts but if the freezer breaks down and we just need to quickly sort it out yesterday we did all right but the food we've cut now is able to go into the chest freezer but we had to cook it because i didn't want to risk then trying to refreeze it because i weren't sure how much it had frozen and it was pot a little bit frozen a little bit not and i couldn't then just bang it in the chest freezer and go oh it'll be right it wasn't something we wanted to risk doing so we do think the freezer the little freezer in here the fridge freezer we think that's on the blink now we're gonna have to be very careful what we put in there the chest freezer is only a small chest freezer it's full absolutely full now with what we cooked yesterday we simply can't get anything in there now so it was like thank goodness thank goodness the big man upstairs was pressing it on my heart to get a pressure canner i'm sure of it i'm absolutely sure of it that he was like you need it you need to get this <laughs> i'm absolutely convinced that it was um divine pressing on my heart to to sort this out and be a bit more less reliant on freezers because we could have grid down situations we could have more lockdown situations you just don't know do you you don't know what's around the corner so for all those people that laugh at me for prepping hey <laughs> that's fine that's fine you can laugh you can laugh it's not a problem i don't mind i'm happy in my own little bubble prepping so when that pressure canner comes um i'll be very busy canning a lot of meat a lot of meals in a jar and I'll take you along the journey with me so that if it's something, you know, educational for you, isn't it? It's something else to think about because I'd never go and encourage anybody to spend money ever. And I'll encourage people to save money as much as possible and be as frugal as you can. But I've, we've been saving up for this pressure canner for two years, putting a bit away, putting a bit away, putting a bit away. It's not something we've just got, right, we're going to buy this. And then lately, when I felt it really pressing on me and really pressing on me, I've said, right, we need to get this now. We can't, we can't delay. We need to get this now. And I'm so glad because it should be here next week. Fingers crossed. It should be here next week. I keep tracking it. So yeah, I am going to be busy when that comes, when that arrives. So yeah, we need to be on the lookout for another fridge freezer now. Um, Mary Ann over at Wallflowers, she's had a very similar experience lately. And yesterday she managed to get a fridge freezer from Marketplace. 
beautiful freezer, like the American style, absolutely fantastic freezer, fridge freezer. So I'll link her video below. And if I can link the other video that explains about a freezer packing up, if I can do, I will, but I'll definitely link yesterday's video because I was like, I couldn't believe we were both having the same experience. <laughs> like, And then another YouTuber was saying that she'd had to go out and buy a new freezer because she felt like this, like I did with a pressure canner. She was like, mm, really need to get a, a new freezer. Like she's got two, I think. But for some reason she felt a pressing to get another freezer and she's like i cannot ignore this i need to act on it and that's what i was like with the pressure canner i need to act on this now because this is pressing on me pressing on me and pressing on me and it did with the dehydrator and it did with the, the pressure cooker and slow cooker it was like the, the water filter it's all things we've saved up for and thankfully thankfully me and my husband are both working so we're getting these things now because you never know, do you? You never know when something's gonna happen. You never know what's around the corner. And if one of us came out of work, we'd really struggle. And we wouldn't be in any way in a position to be able to get, get the things that we need to get. So keep saving and keep saving and keep putting money away means we really can get these things when we need to. Obviously a fridge freezer is, is out of my reach at the moment but if I can find one like Mary Ann did on Marketplace I will be getting one we want to save up for a, a, a wood burner and you're talking a, an awful lot of money that's something we can't just jump in and get you know we don't have that kind of money spare but it's about trying to get out of debt and stay out of debt isn't it so that if you can put money away you can you can put away for what's important in your life what's important to you and your family so i'm so so relieved that this pressure canner is on its way and um i'm so thankful that yesterday we caught that food in time and we were able to rescue it and get it cooked up and put it in the the small chest freezer that we have so yeah i might end up making room for a slightly bigger fridge freezer because our fridge freezer is a small a smallish one it's not a big one so we'll have to be looking at that won't we because i don't think that freezer is going to last much longer it is showing signs of being on the blink now but uh, yeah so that's that for today folks i hope you've you're okay with the apple cider vinegar i hope you are going to give it a try and uh, just you know in the comments below if you have made some how have you got on with it have you found how have you compared to to the shop bought one let you know just let me know so for now i will say goodbye god bless take care and i'll see you again very soon bye for now